Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Scala. In this video, I'll be talking about vectors. In the previous uh, few videos, I'll be talking about uh, collections. I've already have covered arrays, array buffer and list. This is the fourth collection that we're gonna discuss today. Let's get started. So what is vector? Uh, like list, vectors are another immutable collection of sequence type. So far, whatever we have discussed, all are of a sequence type. We can take example of arrays, array buffers, list, now vectors, all are the uh, collections of sequence type. But the difference is like arrays, array buffers are immutable, but list and vectors are immutable collections. So uh, they, they differ in the fact that list are linear while vectors are indexed. So this is the difference between list and the vectors. The similarity is both are immutable and the difference is list are linear while the vectors are indexed what it means uh, this means like if you want to access a central element in a list the compiler has to start from a beginning and linearly progress through the list until it finish the element you are trying to access however when you want to access the central element in the vector the compiler can directly go to the index and access the element in a constant time so this is the advantage we get with the vector how we can create a vector the vector vectors can be created using the vector keyword followed by the parenthesis the the same way that we discuss in list also like uh, if you want to create a list simply use the list keyword followed by the parenthesis i'll be showing the demo uh, after this presentation how we can initialize an empty vector we can initialize an empty vector using the empty method how we can access an element? Uh, we can access the element using this simple uh, notation, vector name and in the parenthesis specify the index. And how we can append an element means how we can add the element uh, to a vector. We can use, we can append the element to a vector using the colon plus method. The same method we use in a list as well. How we can prepend an element? Again, it's a similar to the list that we can prepend means we can uh, add the element to the start of the vector using the plus colon method and last how we can concatenate how we can merge two vectors together with the plus plus method so this is all about the introduction to the vector now i'm just going to the uh, the scala's terminal as well as i've already have noted down all the important uh, uh, code which is required to uh, demonstrate the things right first let's create a vector we can create a vector with a vector keyword as i've already have stated in the presentation followed by the uh, the parenthesis in which you can pass the uh, element so it is a vector of one two three four five you can see it's a mutable of type integer this is how we can create a vector how we can initialize the empty vector we can initialize with the empty method simply use vector dot empty like in this case i'm just opening up here you can see it's an empty vector you can see here it is nothing and we can uh, just initialize the empty vector now how we can append the element let's append the element here so in this case, let's suppose this is the uh, regular vector that we are having in which we have uh, three elements available, A, B, C. Now let's add an element which is D here. So with this, we'll be using colon plus method to add an element D to the existing A, B, C. So in this case, uh, I have to use P here, P vector. Now you can see A, B, C, D got added, right? This is how we can add the element. In the same way, we how we can prepend the element means how we can add the element at the beginning. For this, we'll be using plus colon, right? Let's do it. In this case, we can use this one. You can see add Z got added at the beginning. So we got now Z, A, B, C, D. This is how we can prepend an element. So let's uh, conclude this video with the last point, uh, how we can concatenate, how we can add the two vectors together, merge the two vectors together. Let's suppose we have a vector available which is consisting of E and F. Uh, so I'm naming it with the uh, temp vector. So this is a temp vector. Now let's concatenate. So with the plus plus method, at last we're gonna concatenate these two uh, with the plus plus method. You can see in this case now uh, EF got added to the existing Z, A, B, C, D. This is the first vector contents. EF is a second vector contents and these two merge together. I hope guys you must have understood uh, from this video what is vector, how we can create a vector, how we can populate, how we can add the elements. Uh, for the remaining content I will be covering in, in the next video. Thanks for watching guys.